Welcome back to the Big Screen Boys Podcast. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across me is the one and only Cash Krause. But before we begin, if you guys can please be sure to smash the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single week. So with that said, Cash, what are we reacting to today? Well, Mason, just one of the many films I'm very excited for coming up in these next few months. Very much so. Once you get past this blockbuster phase, um, some good, good films are coming out. Mm -hmm. And there's one of them, Killers of the Flower Moon, the new Martin Scorsese film. Cannot. Big Scorsese wait. heads here. Yeah. Uh, saw this trailer. I think they put this trailer during Oppenheimer also. Mm -hmm. So I got to see it on the IMAX and big screen. And it looks amazing. I'm, I'm very happy that Apple TV are coming out in theaters also for yep. this film. Well, and what was cool about the first trailer, and we had talked about this before, yeah. but the first trailer was more of that mystery of like, can you find yeah. the wolf Definitely in this picture? Just like a... a a thriller drama for right. sure. That first one, this one throws in a little gangster, which you know it's Scorsese, so you know you're going to get some gangster <laughs> I mean, not mentality. All he, does, he does great drama and he does great he does. gangster films. Right, no in between. But of course, his gangster films are great drama films. They're the best. That's it's a combination, but it's mm -hmm. just a great combination of of action and drama. But this one goes a little. It's better. I I, I mean, the, the first trailer was amazing. It, it yeah. set the tone perfectly, but this one got me really excited because nope. it's going to be that perfect combination of drama and then gangster action film. Yeah. And what I love about this too is two things. One, this film is 206 minutes. That's three oh, hours yeah. and 26 minutes, so just as many, long as the Irishman, essentially. So many films this year are plus Oppenheimer, plus three uh, hours. Yeah. Dune's going to be plus three Mission hours. Mission Impossible almost hit three hours. Almost, yeah. yeah. So, and all of them have been great. Yeah, and, they have. And then for the most part, they've been packed houses, you know, mm -hmm. the fear of not being able to sell three hour movies to people, I think should be those abandoned. days are over. Yeah. As long as they're yeah. good. I don't want to see Fast and Furious 18. No, nor do I. I don't want to see a four hour version of that. No, thank you. But if these good films, man, if they're good films, people will, will sit there and yeah. watch it. You know, another thing I love is they're still giving Scorsese. It doesn't matter. This guy could be 106 years old. Good. They are going to give this man $200 million to yeah. make this film. Apple. Quite the budget. Apple's got it. No, oh, they got the money. Okay. That's yeah. slave labor. We got, we got making money. You got I mean, to you gotta make you gotta money. stop hoarding this wealth yeah. and start spending it on fucking Martin Scorsese films. Guys. Exactly. I mean, we're not going to get them for that much longer. So we need yeah. to appreciate them while they're here. And you know, a, I would say a large massive chunk of that goes to the actors mm, yeah well of course you have leonardo dicaprio robert de niro jesse Plemons. the biggest name I mean, of all yeah it's, plims. It's plims the plim dog baby if you ain't shelling out for plims then i don't want to watch a movie <laughs> i you don't want to take care of my boy yeah. please i need a co-star as good as jesse Plemons in anything oh you know he just elevates every film he really does and he does not we talk about it all this time because yeah. we're plem dogs Scorsese, on this podcast de niro people do not give I that man enough credit I, I could care less about those guys I know. i'm here for one reason only plem dog plem dog plem dog we got to get a plem dog shirt baby we got it <laughs> got to sell him merch he's just Coming amazing and everything and he will get an oscar mark my words i'm okay. gonna have to lay down the bet with vegas well what are the odds here? I know. What are the odds? Probably no six one to one. No one even knows who the guy is. I know. Most people don't. It's sad. Yeah. But speaking of Oscars, Cash, uh, we do have the newly uh, Oscar winner in this film as well, Brendan Frazier. I know. Playing That'll be a sleazy lawyer, uh -huh. I believe, and he looks perfect. What a comeback. What a comeback for the man. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hiatus for, for over a decade, comes back, wins it, wins an Oscar for The Whale. Well now he's in a Scorsese film. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Immediately. Yeah. And he really landed all these things like even before the whale like, came right out. Away. Yeah. yeah. Like, immediately, Polly was like, we need this guy back. <laughs> we apologize. And great for it. I can't yeah. wait. I cannot wait. But yeah, Jesse Plemons. Let's go. Let's get us some Plemons. Skip here. me. I don't need to see the rest of the film. I want <laughs> to go straight to <laughs> the Plemons scenes, please. <laughs> all right. Here it is. Here it is. Killers of the Flower Moon. You know, you got, you got a nice color scheme. What color would you say that is? My color. That's a great line, too. Oh, Sage. They have the worst land possible. But they outsmarted everybody. The land had oil on it. Black gold. Money goes freely here now. I do love that money, sir. <laughs> <laughs> This wealth should come to us. 
their time is over. It's just going to be another tragedy. Ice cold. When this money started coming, we should have known it came with something else. They're like buzzards circling our people. We're still warriors. I ought to kill these white men who killed my family. Yeah. And need it's a good idea. <laughs> you might want it. Right? They're not going to stop. They will not. Absolutely. You've got to take back control of your home. I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. He is. Hey, Plum Dog, FBI. A big app for big man. It is. See who's doing it. <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> See who's doing what it. What the fuck you mean? What do you mean why I'm down here? What? There he yeah. is. Yeah. Thank you. What? The bomb they took. Expecting a miracle to make all this go away. <laughs> you know they don't happen anymore. Jeez. I'm telling you, I could watch that trailer over and yeah, over and over did. again, and I'm still Clearly, just the length excited. of the movie. I can just watch that trailer. I know. Yeah, it's so great, man. I mean, you got to give it to Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, someone's got to give it to him. Someone does. But he's just, I, I mean, you know that's going to be a super conflicting character. Absolutely. Like, he's mm -hmm. obviously, he's got a wife or someone that's part of the tribe. And at first, you know, I, I love that money. You know, I'm sure he's a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. He's going to see all this going on, you know, and that's. He could easily just cash in at this point and just play the good guy at this point. Yeah, he could. You know, just play. But he's willing to. He always is willing to push himself. Well, we have seen some actors so do makes that him one recently. Of the best. Uh, so like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, he took a break from yeah. the hard roles and yeah, started exactly. doing action films. Yeah, he did you know? one character where he which was, that's hard. He was despicable. Right, <clears throat> yeah, night and he said, "I'll never do that again." People can't look at me without seeing night. I couldn't look yeah. at him a different way for a very long time, but that's how good he is. Right? I know. And that's, a, that's a great yeah. example too, but yeah, that's why you got to love Leo, man. And he's sticking with Scorsese and Scorsese is always, he's never going to have just a black and white character where no. they're either good or bad. I mean, there'll be villains in this film for sure. Of course. But your main characters are going to be super fucking conflicted, yeah. which is, and we we brought this up many times, but this yeah. is based on a true story. It's based on a 2017 book by yeah. the same name, killers of the flower moon. And this is essentially the inception of the FBI. Yeah, which is wild. I it mean, is. it's wild that the FBI would even care, you would think. I mean, well, but, but oh, the oh, fact that at least they were 20 able to, to 30 yeah. people died during this it's time of murder. It's saying it had to be that many people until, you, they, until someone did we something. Gotta form some kind of group. Yeah. To stop these murders. What are we doing here, guys? It's pretty wild. It was it the wild, wild, wild west. In oh, a lot absolutely. Of ways. Very gangster esque. Anything. Yeah, anything went, you know, a lawless. Absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy times. And I haven't read the book, exciting. but I will absolutely read the book before the movie comes out. I bought the I book two it, months ago, but I'm waiting until like yeah, September. I definitely to think start it. it deserves to be read. I mean, that's but so much shit of that has yeah. happened in America and have it's been swept under the rug. Under the rug. I mean, there it should happens be, a lot. There should be a Black Wall Street movie where you know, yes, where, where we literally bombed throwing dynamite from planes yeah. on like the richest uh, black neighborhood in America. It's crazy. You don't really know about nope. that. They don't know about. I didn't know about this. Goes on. I didn't know about this until mm -hmm. the, you know, the book came out. The book just came out. What is it? Seventy years after this was happening, right? Why? Well, it's so funny because you look through history of these three letter organizations and we're like, okay, they were corrupt in the 50s, 60s, yeah. 70s, <laughs> 80s, know. 90s, 2000s, but they they're fine now. They've they're done good some now. good. I mean, yeah, after the pressures put on, at least, you know, they're able to do some good things. Yeah. But man, 30 murders. So you get someone to send down one guy, yeah, one guy. Yeah. I mean, they sent the best we man, the though. best man, you sent the best man on for the job. That's plum dog, but do not send still. James Bond. No, don't send Ethan Hunt. No, and do not for the love of God, send Vin Diesel. No, send Jesse Plymouth and make that hat as big as possible. Cause he's got a big Should have been bigger. <laughs> he does. Should have been much larger. Oh, you can't fit it on screen though. You no, can't. you can't. That's the problem. They go 70 millimeter <laughs> IMAX as big as you can go. That's it. Until someone makes a new format, they're limited with the size of Jesse Plymouth's hat. He's got a big noggin, though. It's as big as they come. It really is. So it makes him so dynamic. It is. He's a dynamic performer. Everything comes into that head. You know, you're, the focus is drawn straight to that oh, head. God. And I bet framing 
is the a DP. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's just scratching his head. How are we going to fit this big old knock? Move the camera on? back. <laughs> Move it back further. <laughs> you got to get him in frame. Just cameraman's uh -huh. on the opposite oh side. Oh, my of the gosh. Yeah. Anyways, very excited for that. Yes, as am I. We talked about this, our top 10 is going to be very difficult this year. We say it every year, but this year has got to be one of the more Absolutely. difficult. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially that number. Once we start getting into the top five and top yeah. three, it's going to be damn I'm, near and impossible. You, I'm telling you, when you, when you see Oppenheimer, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, fuck, how am I going to? I mean, it's so I that. I mean, I don't want to talk about too much, but. And then Dune comes out. Mm hmm you know, we're going to have at least four films that are going to be extremely tough to, to, to choose from. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait though. That but it's fun. It makes it fun. It does. It really most certainly does. All right, everyone. That is a reaction to killers of the flower moon. If you like what you see in here, please be sure to smash the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single week. Thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is cash Krause. And until next time. Bye.